the last video we were able to fetch all the songs for a particular user but in this time we are going to get a song based on the id of the song and that's what we have here in this class method so called get so as usual we'll make the connection to the database then we're going to set the id to id using set song so it's going to come up here take the id in here using the set song method take the id and set this here as a class attribute so once it does that then it will now create we now create the i will now create the um cursor from the context manager and then um, I decided to create the query that is select all from songs table where the ID is this variable order by ID ascending so the value is that which are fed the class as class attribute and that's the ID so it's going to take that and so it means that select all from songs where the ID is that and in this case let me um, put that in this case we want the song with the id 3 that's what we want and that is this song say something pop with id 3 here so is going to execute that and we will need to fetch all through using cursor then we'll store it in a variable fetch we'll do the same thing we're going to print out each record for fetch and we're expecting one record because it's just um, that one ID so it's going to take put it out in this format so we are printing directly in this time and then we commit that then we print fetch completed and return true we catch any errors and we also um, close our connections so let's try that out here so we have song.get3 um, there's one more thing I needed to show and that is that we remember we are writing tests too for this so this is the test for getting all users and the test for getting uh, by ID which is what we're doing now so getting all users test for getting all song records by ID user ID from songs table so we are just doing the same thing we're passing this song dot all like we had here in this case and let me just pull that here oops 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 that's not what i wanted so so that's what we're doing here as, and we expect the results to be a boolean true or false because of what we did here so this time is true even here too so it will feed it as true and that's why it's going to find out if it's a boolean we're expecting and also if that result is true and if there is actually a result so that's what this is doing so it's do that for the getting the by user id and also by getting by the id the same thing so it's just to show that we are actually running tests for that so let's come back here to main and let's run this song get does this method here so if you run that and now we can see it's giving us id 3 which is what we want so the user id is to say something and that and fetch completed so that is how to um, get um, a query or a record from Postgres uh, table using Python and PG and um, PCycle PG two. So.